E-commerce. E-commerce, electronic commerce, is the activity of electronically buying or selling of products on online services or over the internet. E-commerce draws on technologies such as mobile commerce, electronic funds transfer, supply chain management, internet marketing, online transaction processing, electronic data interchange, EDI, inventory management systems, and automated data collection systems. E-commerce is in turn driven by the technological advances of the semiconductor industry, and is the largest sector of the electronics industry. E-commerce in India E-commerce is one of the Indian economy's fastest growing sectors. Bank of America Merrill Lynch estimates the Indian online retail market to carry a gross merchandise value GMV, of $62 billion by 2020 with a GMV of $17 billion this year. This growth is fueled by businesses which are increasing efficiencies in demand and supply and diminishing entry barriers. With e-commerce playing a pivotal role in the economy and our daily lives, it is important to understand some of the risks involved. Fraud is one of the biggest risks these companies face. A recent CyberSource survey suggests that North American businesses expect to lose 0.8% of total revenue due to fraud. Whereas in India, this number ranges between 4 to 5% as per some estimates. Types of e-commerce frauds There are three categories of frauds in an online marketplace, each with distinct and multiple modus operandi, mo. Buyer-side frauds, where buyers file fraudulent claims chargebacks or compromised payment cards. Fake buyer accounts are created with the intention of utilizing a compromised payment card to purchase items. Many buyers also abuse services provided by the marketplace such as their return policies, guarantees etc. Recently there was a case of two youngsters buying expensive mobile phones on Flipkart and claiming they received empty boxes. Their scheme ran for over a year and a half with the cost of those 152 phones totaling Rs. 1.05 crore. Merchant side frauds, these typically range from non-fulfillment to selling counterfeit and many other complex models. Fraudsters typically create a new account and list popular, fast-moving items at extremely low prices to attract the most number of customers in the shortest period of time. As the last date of delivery passes, complaints of not having received the items start to pour in. The fraudster tries to keep the whole scheme going till disbursement day using various tactics. In the case of counterfeit goods, complaints of the item being fake start coming in. Depending the type of product, customers may or may not be able to identify a fake immediately. There have been cases of phones being sold and customers finding out almost a year later at the service center that the phone is a fake. Given the ease with which transactions can take place and the difficulty in seeing the physical movement of goods, cases of money laundering and abuse of online marketplaces have also been observed. Cybersecurity Fraud Customer accounts are not without cybersecurity challenges. Frequently, accounts are compromised and subject to account takeovers, ATO, and identity theft. Credit card details are sold online by the hundreds. Professional fraudsters have an arsenal of credit card numbers and their details. Sometimes a marketplace account is a byproduct of a larger hack. Hackers then proceed to place orders through the account or create a seller account from which a scheme is run. Solutions for e-commerce frauds Conduct regular site security audits Monitor your site regularly for suspicious activity Use an address verification service, AVS Use Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, HTTPS Set limits on purchases Double check that the IP address and credit card address match